I'm Lady T506. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing How to Get Away with Murder, Season 2, Episode 2. We starting off with the same brother and sisters from last week, Caleb and Kayla. I think I think that's what their names are. Forgive me if I'm wrong. They are in custody because the AT they missed and they end up dead. Now I'm sitting there thinking, I hope these children ain't that dumb to kill the only witness to the killing of their parents. I was like, they can't possibly be that dumb, but you know, there's some crazy people out there. And Annalise was like, all right, where was y'all at? Was y'all at home the whole night? And it's like, yeah, we was at home the whole night. No one that the brother already said he went out for a jog and sister was in the house painting but there's like you know something's going on we're getting framed i don't know who did it but yeah it wasn't us we ain't had nothing to do with ain't he getting killed so the prosecutor she's trying to get the hearing thrown out for today she's like look here judge i didn't came across some information it appears to be that annalise and nate's lawyer they know each other and this kind of sort of proves that annalise helped nate kill her husband and you know i I was kind of Jean Grey. I can't remember what her name is. I'm sorry. I'm horrible with names. Jean Grey was like, me and Annalise, we went to school together. I ain't seen this child in years. And if I'm ever going against somebody I'd have known in school, like I would never get no work done. And you could look through my records. I ain't talked to her in years. So I don't know what you got going on. So I'm going to need you to pump your brakes. I'm sorry if you didn't go to the best school like I did. Or you would know better. Again, I am paraphrasing. So Annalise is on the stand to give her testimonial and not testimonial but testimony. And I love that dress she had on. I need that dress in my life. But anyways, district attorney, well prosecutor lady, she wants to know when and where Annalise and Nate started sleeping together. Did you know his wife had cancer? Did you care that his wife had cancer? How long does this affair last? And all this other stuff. And Annalise was like, you know what? I don't know the exact details. But she's like, well, Nate knows when, where, and all that other stuff. She's like, well, that's Nate, not me. So Wes is tasked at going to talk to the sister because people feel oh so comfortable around him. So he goes in there and accidentally lets it slip that the brother's DNA, Caleb's DNA, was found in the auntie's car. She's like, what? Hold up. Wait. What? Huh? What? Well, meanwhile, on the other hand, Bonnie's over there talking to Caleb like, look here. Bro, just come clean. We know your DNA was found in the auntie's car. We have proof that she was by the auntie's car. He's like, see, that proves somebody setting us up. Because the way I run, I run over there by the park. That's over on the left end. Auntie's car was over there by the right end. So, I wasn't nowhere near the car. This was Bonnie's task to see if he was telling the truth. Like, he went to get in his head to see if he was going to lie, slip up. So, she was like, well, maybe, you know, they telling the truth. Somebody is trying to set them up. But I'm like, who is it that's, like, trying to set them up? Is it, like, the mom and daddy's business partner? Like, it can't be auntie because she's dead. So, like, who's trying to set these kids up? Annalise is on that witness stand and getting that prosecutor together. She's like, I know what you're trying to do, and it's not going to work. I did not put my hand on that Bible to be crucified. I ain't got nothing to do with this, and you're not going to try. I'm not the one on, you know, trial or, you know, pre-trial, whatever it is. So, I'm going to need you to get it together, boo-boo. And, like, the way, and, like, she getting mad, and the woman was like, yes, yeah, see, I see that anger in you. Your sister in law already said how you be getting, you know, angry. But, like, what person doesn't get angry every once in a while? But I bet Annalise in her head was just spanking while she was giving her monologue about you ain't going to crucify me. I bet she was thinking in her head. I wonder how many ways me and Frank could torture and kill this woman and get away with it. Like, you just don't know, boo. I've done this before, and I will do it again. You just don't know. I, I can get you together, you know. I teach a course on how to get away with murder, so I'm an expert in I don't know. I was just saying she probably think of some weird, crazy mess like that in her head. So, Michaela and um, Wes, and I think it was Connor, they all just snuck inside to catch Annalise on the stand. I may be out of order, but, you know, what have you. But anyways... There's some random dude outside, like, can I use one of y'all phones? 
immediately I was suspicious of this guy. It's innocent enough. Can I use your phone? Connor is like, okay, sure, boo. You know, McKay's like, look here, boo boo, you got a boyfriend. And she's like, no, thank you. And it's like, you should talk to that boy. But immediately I was suspicious. I was like, this dude could be like working for like the prosecutor. He could be a hacker. I don't know, but for some reason I just died to like get for you, Michaela. Go walk away from this boy. There's nothing but danger that can happen to this. Get your tail out of there. Get out of there now. So Jean Grey is proving how Nate could not have possibly killed Sam. And the process, she was actually inattentionally, unintentionally proving, like showing the steps that Annalise actually took with framing Nate for Sam's murder. Like she went over his house to when Nate, well not Nate, when Sam was killed to prove that, you know, she wasn't there at the house. Frank came in, got his finger pulling off off the ring, got it, put it on the ring. It's like all these steps. She doesn't realize it, but it's like these are the steps that Annalise actually took. But I don't think that the prosecutor woman is going to actually think she already did this. Or maybe she will. I don't know. But like Annalise, she, she doesn't show it, but you know her is probably going on her head. Oh my goodness, she knows too much. I don't know what's going to happen. She's revealing my truth. So Rebecca and Oliver are trying to break into the police database. So they didn't got in their head. Well, we've already did this trip before where we, you know, peeled Nate's fingerprint off a of glass and put it on the ring. Why did we try to say that the police did that same thing and like they put the blood in the auntie's car? But while they're doing that, they uncovered some truths. They're like, oh snap, the police did two DNA tests. The first one didn't show anything. The second one showed Caleb's blood in there. And the only way they got it is when they arrested him. I guess it's like we don't have any information, so we're just going to say that it was his blood and we're going to get him in there and just throw the blood in there to say that he killed the A.T. So it's like, oh, really? Y'all doing that, police? So this is further proving that at least, you no, know, Caleb didn't kill the arms here. Maybe he could have and was being extra careful. We had to get away with murder. You never know who did him. I'm like, if these two didn't do it, because all this evidence piling up is like, it's too much evidence to be true. You know, it's like everything's coming out. It's like maybe they didn't do it. Or maybe they was just sloppy at their job. I don't know. So Bonnie, she just can't take it no more. Annalise is always being verbally, verbally abusive to her. She's like, Annalise, I just want to let you know. The reason why I killed Rebecca is because I want to save you. Like you saved me. I know I'm being a little dramatic about it. But this is like what was going on in my head. Annalise, she didn't have a few ones because she even got drilled through the rain girl, you know, during her, um, when she was on witness stand by Jean Grey. So she didn't have a few. So she looked little here child. I ain't saved you. You need to save for me. Matter of fact, I'll haul y'all too. I just brought y'all down the hill. <laughs> Drink me some more this bottle. <laughs> I didn't save you. <laughs> you need to save it from me. And mine is looking like, no, I don't. I love you and Luke. I'd kill again for you. It was like this scene was. I, it shouldn't have been a funny scene, but it was funny to me because Paul Bonnie, like, everything she do, Annalise is mad at her. Like, okay, you bring me this bad news. Like, don't shoot the master to Annalise. She just bringing you this information. So, Annalise, she goes in the court all confident, like she should be. And she's like, look here, Judge. I think this should be thrown out and my clients should be able to go home because I have evidence right here to prove that, you know, prosecutor and DA, his um, blood test results were false. They were doctored. Here are the original ones right here. You see that right here? Yes. You know, see on mine, it shows there were two tests done and the first test showed no DNA right there. On the second one, it showed my client's DNA right there. And they only got that evidence, here you go, judge, after they arrested my client. And, you know, prosecutors were like, well, damn, how'd they get that? That was in the police database. She know about me to break into that, but the judge was looking like, oh, so this is what we have. Okay, and event, I'm about to say Evangeline. Annalise, your clients are free to go home. I'm going to need y'all to do better because you're making me look bad to prosecute a DA person. Okay, case not dismissed, but you know, y'all can't get them from an 80s murder, too. So, the judge in Nate's case was look here, 
prosecutor woman, you don't have enough evidence to prove that Nate did it. You don't even know yourself who did it. You trying to prove Nate did it and anything and Lisa did it, did it. You don't know what's going on. So we gonna just I'm gonna need you to start fresh and, you know, get it together because baby, you ain't got it together. I'm sorry, Nate, you are free to go home, go about your business, what you need to do. You are no longer a suspect at this time until they reopen this case. All right, case dismissed. And Annalise like, yeah, my girl did it. And Nate's like, okay, I can go home, but I should have never in life got together with Annalise Keaton. So y'all know that dude I was talking about earlier, the one that used Michaela's phone. Yeah, Nate, not Nate, but what was his name? Wes was at home looking at some pictures, and she sees he sees dude in the picture with Rebecca. Now I'm thinking, oh snap, dude knew Rebecca. See, I knew something wasn't right about him. I didn't think it was that, but I knew something wasn't right. And then, I was like, thank goodness Michaela didn't go out with him. But flash forward, not forward, but flash over to Michaela, Oliver, and um, Connor then got in her head. Talking about saying, you should get that dude a chance to go out with him. So now she out playing, playing pool with him. And I'm thinking, is this who um, Rebecca text on Michaela's phone that help I'm um, over at lawyer's house? They got me tied up. I'm getting beat with a broomstick or whatever it was she texts. Is this who she texts? Because this dude right here, I don't know. I'm not, I'm telling about him. I'm not feeling. I'm going to need y'all help. Tell me. It's, am I the only one feeling this way? So that was the gist that went on. If I left anything out, by all means, leave a comment or video response. And like always, I want to thank my subscribers and the people who watch my videos. I want you to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And share this video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and here on YouTube. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.